Good morning, welcome to another video. Well, it's actually the evening because I've just got home from work and tomorrow we are off to Ride London, the UCI World Tour race. Um, and it's the only World Tour race that's in Britain and our team, A. Wall O'Shea, have been invited along. And I am super excited to get racing the world's best cyclist. So I thought, daily vlog. Every day, every stage, we're gonna do a vlog. So this is gonna be the day one vlog slash maybe the travel day vlog, but we'll see how much I, um, I film. So today is the day before that I'm traveling down tomorrow. So it's the Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, and then the race starts on Friday. So Friday is, Friday and Saturday are like 140, 150 kilometer stages. And then Sunday is gonna be super cool. It's a 90 kilometer, basically like a crit, <laughs> a super long crit around London. And it finishes on the Mall, which will be amazing. So without further ado, let me show you how I'm gonna get ready and prepped for a World Tour stage race. Let's go. We just got a normal dinner because it's a rest day. Um, got some pasta with some tuna and some low fat cream cheese to make kind of like tuna pasta. Now bear with me because because I'm going away for a few days, I wanted to cheese up all the veg that was in the um, in the fridge. So we've got slightly, slightly odd combination of vegetables. So the tuna pasta is mixed with red cabbage and carrots, and then we've got some salad with vinaigrette, um, which has got all the salad toppings you could want: tomatoes, cucumber, and red pepper. So I am starving, so let's get eating. So dinner's been consumed. Now it's time to wash the bike. This is a bit dark, isn't it? Where... Oh, look at that. Sunny evening. Fucking loving these summer times. I'm pretty sure I washed it pretty recently, but we need to get that chain nice and shiny. Every what counts. Ah! <laughs> Now it's the spare bike, it's time to get cleaned. Do you know what, I've actually noticed, so I've gone to, I think these are 38s and I've gone to 36 centimetres on my race bike. And now when I ride this, I'm like, my God, it feels so wide. Like it's, <laughs> it's funny how quickly you get used to new things. So I thought I'd show you what I pack for stage race away. And it's a little bit different on a stage race than it is on like a one day or a two day race because you have a bit more kind of like logistical help so we'll hopefully have ways to wash the kit and things like that so you don't need to think too much about um bringing lots of sets of kit although as i'm saying that i'm looking at the huge pile of kit i've got in front of me um and also things like normally i would take a towel and i take things to be able to wash after the race but most of the time we'll just be going straight back to the hotel so shouldn't need to worry about that and i'm saying that and i have literally got a towel out in front of me so just ignore everything i'm saying i've been putting this off so it's a little bit dark in here um i've got two pairs of shoes i've got two helmets i've got the the more aero type helmet and um a bit more ventilated it's meant to be warm this weekend glasses gloves and then i've got um my own like radio piece because i just like the way it sits in my ear a bit better and um, the other ones fall out because i've got really small ears <laughs> Fun fact. Um, underwear, socks. Ooh, I bought myself some new Aero socks. Ooh, they're meant to save you like 10, 12 watts or something. And I was like, do you know what? I need all the help I can get. Um, Pajamas, shorts, t-shirts. And then this is kit. <laughs> uh, I've got a few pairs of shorts. Got the race suit. Um, arm warmers, leg warmers, base layers. Um, my like gabba type jacket. I'm hoping we won't need that because it is meant to be very hot this weekend. So fingers crossed. Actually in the opposite direction, I also have, um, where is it? Oh, that was lucky that I was telling you about that. Cause I was, I would have forgotten it. Um, that's 30 because I don't act right. So I am ginger, strawberry blonde. But I don't burn. So although I am careful with the fact 30, I'm normally okay. Um, and chamois cream, because, you know, if we're doing back-to-back -back days, you got to look after your bum. And, yeah, that is everything. And all of that has to fit in there. <laughs> also, always take a book. 
you know, got on one somehow. This, not gonna lie, mum gave it to me, a bit soppy for my liking. I normally like brutal murders, but this is also quite good. So, all packed. It was easier than it seemed. So it's the next day, I've just stopped at services needed to get myself a coffee. I was planning on having my breakfast at services, but I just got too hungry. <laughs> so I had my bagel in the car. Um, yeah, so driving down to London today, meeting up with Phil and Cindy from the team, and then we're driving down to, in a team car to, um, to the hotel for the night before, meet up with everyone. Oh, and then when I'm getting to Phil's, we're doing a pre-race ride there, because um, otherwise it will be too late. So um, yeah, that's the plan. I'll see you on the ride. <laughs> Don't crush it. That's the content we all need. <laughs> right, it's the tour of the team team bus. <laughs> got a picnic bag. A picnic bag, Cindy. What have we got back there? Bikes. Yeah, it's got a lot of storage at a the toilet. moment. Oh, is We're it a toilet? It's in the toilet. <laughs> We're not allowed. Wait, I'll, I'll put the phone in so they can see. Ooh. Ban. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> there's bikes everywhere. I think there'll be more there's room. There's a TV up there too. Stop. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. I have team meetings with that. Oh, I've got team meetings. Are you claiming it? Yeah. That's your spot. That's your spot. <laughs> first come, first served. No, yeah, fair. This is my spot now. I've got a nice window view. <laughs> Perfect. Even got a bit of carbon fibre. Carbon fibre trim. <laughs> Check out the hotel room. Two double beds. Let's let's see what the view is. Oh, mate, the dream, and then the best bit, the most important bit of any hotel room: biscuits and chocolates and water. Solid nine and a half out of ten. All the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> New kid day, woo! <laughs> we'll need a fashion show afterwards, guys. Yes. Fashion show. We'll all come in the corridors and we'll know what fight. <laughs> so we've all got new team stash. Let's go try it on. Look at this. Nice pink time bites and then some trackies, which is a little bit warm for, but they are very nice. And then the jacket, of course, because, you know, it's going to be 20 degrees this weekend. <laughs> No, but they are super useful for warming up and stuff. On, on brand. So Jess, you would just say about how Phil's the worst sports massage. I'm eating a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake. Yeah. Right. Pro race food. Yeah. How are you feeling for the uh, for the race? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I speak on her behalf? Yeah. Go then. Um, I was going to see how my legs feel on the first day. I think that's Dan and a Jess. <laughs> yes, fill it. She's going to be in the bar with me later on. Yeah. Put your head in the hole. Just get the gins. <laughs> wow. Well, thanks, guys. No problem. Get inside. Problem was that I got this bit and then I was like, I want a bit of quiche. And so, look, I feel like compared to compared to everyone else, I've got quite a lot of food. So I'll eat the rest of it, it'll be fine. <laughs> Go on. My brownie, I'm so skinny, I just only had one. It only had one spoonful. Yeah, I just took one bit. And one bit. The brownie. Yeah. <laughs> behind the scenes with Das Hansling. <laughs> so that is the end of vlog one. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see or anything in particular that you want to see from the from the team. Or anyone. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.